But today, I'm going to show you guys the Spaghetti Westerns that I own and some of the American Westerns. I don't own that many American Westerns. I'm not the biggest fan of them. I like the grittiness that you have in the Spaghetti Western. And it's not to say that American Westerns are not good because there, there's a lot of good American Westerns. <clears throat> I'm just not the biggest uh, fan of them. I'm very selective on them. And I got into Westerns because of my dad. My dad loves um, Clint Eastwood, Charles Bronson, and I got into those movies when I was a kid. So I learned to appreciate them even more as I've gotten older, you know, over the years. So let's start. Over here is a box set that is now out of print. It's called Once Upon a Time in Italy. And this brings a bullet for the general, compañeros, Four of the Apocalypse, Kioma, and Texas Adios. This is from Anchor Bay. I remember paying like 20 something dollars when this first came out back like in 2006. I've seen this go for at least 80 to 100 dollars. And I've seen some of these movies. I've seen Texas Adios with Franco Nero. Uh, I've seen um, Bullet for the uh, General, which is with um, Jean Maria Volante, who was in the. Um, the Dollars Trilogy. He was in for a few dollars more and for a fistful of dollars. And it's a good movie. It's a good spaghetti western. Many people think that because these are lesser known that they're not good. They're actually very good spaghetti westerns. And when you open it up, it comes like this. Let me show you. Coming in their own individual cases. Slim cases. So you have them like this. Bullet for the General, which I was talking to you about right now. Now, you can still find these movies um, through sellers, of course, and they're going to jack up the price if you buy this box set, but if I'm not mistaken, I think uh, there's another studio that has released them individually uh, for a cheaper price. Uh, don't quote me on that. I think I saw them at one point on Amazon being sold individually through another company. So, if you're you know, really into westerns, I definitely recommend you checking that out. But yeah, this box set is really nice. I've had this for a couple of years now. Got it back in 2007, 2006 actually, 2006. So let's continue. A little bit of it, a tight spot here. Give me one quick second. <clears throat> so here we are. Here we have. Magnific Magnificent Seven, the complete collection. This brings all the movies. It brings The Magnificent Seven, Return of the Magnificent Seven, Guns of the Magnificent Seven, and The Magnificent Seven Ride, which is with uh, Lee Van Cleef, who is very known for his uh, contribution to Spaghetti Western movies. Oops. Hold on, give me one second I need to adjust this. Uh, let me move Mr. Uh, Mechagodzilla out of the way. And let's continue. So it comes in its individual cases. You know, very nice. This one you can still find. What I do want to get eventually is the TV series. I never saw it, but I've heard good stuff about it. Here we have the Sabata Trilogy. It's with Lee Van Cleef and Yel Burner. Brings all three films. I've only seen the first one. I have yet to see the sequels. I've heard good stuff about them. Here we have Duck, You Sucker. This movie is from Sergio Leone, who did the Dollars Trilogy. It is also known as A Fistful of Dynamite. You know, this movie, um, it's a spaghetti western comedy. I'm not a big fan of those. It's not a bad movie, by, by no means. It's entertaining. You know, James Coburn does a pretty decent job in the movie. Um, but the problem is that it, the spaghetti western genre, when it combines it with comedy, it just doesn't work for me. Not a bad movie, but um, definitely one of my um, least favorite. Here we have the spaghetti western bible. This brings a couple of movies. Brings about, I think, ten movies or so that are 
lesser known. They're very uh, on the cheap, because most spaghetti westerns were made for cheap, but these are like the really, really cheap ones. And the transfers on these aren't very good. You know, most of them were taken from VHS tapes or just from really bad negatives. And, but aside, aside that, it's still a good buy because some of these movies have never been released individually. So you're getting these movies, uh, some of these movies for the first time ever on a format other than VHS. So it's definitely worth owning. Some good ones in here. Here we have Navajo Joe. Really good movie. I actually like this. It's one of the few movies with Burt Reynolds where he plays an Indian. Of all things, he plays uh, an Indian. But don't let that throw you off. It's a good movie. Uh, he does a pretty good performance. There's a, a song in here. One of the, Part of the soundtrack of this movie was used in Kill Bill. And um, you can tell that Clint, uh, Quentin Tarantino was influenced a lot by the spaghetti western genre based on the angles he uses, the type of music he uses in his movies and definitely recommend this one if you haven't uh, seen it, do check it out here we have The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance I have yet to see this movie, I recently bought this one um, I'm a fan of, of uh, John Wayne like I. Not the biggest fan of American Westerns, but I do like some of uh, John Wayne's movies. There's one in particular that I don't like, and I saw it recently. It's called Rio Grande. Way too slow, very sentimental. Not the type of Western that I like. But I've heard good stuff about this one, and I'll be definitely checking it out very soon. And James Stewart, great actor. There's another Western movie that I have here that I'm going to show you guys in a bit that's very good with James Stewart. High Noon. Great, great western. This is perhaps, in my opinion, the, the best American western. It's with Gary Cooper and Grace Kelly. You can probably find this now on Blu-ray, I'm pretty sure you can. And this was released through um, Artists and Entertainment. Brings um, the movie in a remastered edition. Has a couple of special features. But this movie is basically about a sheriff who is left alone to defend his uh, his town, and nobody's there to help him. He's literally trying to find people to help him defend himself from these guys who are gonna who are gonna uh, attack the town. There's a guy who is gonna arrive on a, on, a, on a train at noon, and he is out for him, and he's trying to find people to help him out, and no one's helping him out. So he's the on only guy who is defending the, the whole town, and he has a choice of leaving town, being the coward and leaving. Uh, but it shows you um, how this guy is honest and he's loyal to his town and to his people, even though his pe the people of the town aren't. Great movie. Um, some people might consider it slow, but definitely a great movie. It has um, a certain mystery and a certain psychological level to it that's not very common in Western movies. So if you've never seen it, do check this one out. Very, very good. The Big Trail with John Wayne, also a good American Western movie. Uh, Don't Turn the Other Cheek. This one's really hard to find now. And I got this one a while back, but I haven't seen it yet. And I got it only because of uh, Frank Nero and um, Eli Wallach. And I haven't watched it because I've read online that it's not that great, that it's, a, again, a spaghetti Western comedy, which I'm kind of turned off by. I was so turned off by um, A Fistful of Dynamite that I didn't watch this one. But I will. I, I definitely will watch it eventually. So, But I've seen this one go online for ridiculous prices. Clint Eastwood, my favorite actor in terms of Western movies, and of course also dramas and crime movies. But he's literally the man when it comes to Westerns. And Pale Rider is a great one. He plays a preacher who comes into town, and there's a certain mystery to him. Very good movie. Definitely worth getting on Blu-ray. I remember having this movie on tape and on the first generation DVD that was released through Warner Brothers. This one is by far the best one in terms of picture quality. It doesn't have any special features I can think of. Yeah, it includes a theatrical trailer for Pale Rider and Unforgiven. 
literally, um, not many special features as a bare's bone, but definitely an upgrade in terms of pitch quality. Westerns Unchained. Now this, if you want to build a collection of Western movies, you know, really quickly for a low price, do buy this one. This is called Westerns Unchained, and it brings 25 movies in one disc. No lie, they're all in just one Blu-ray. Of course, the picture quality is not good by any means. It defeats the purpose of calling it a Blu-ray. But 25 movies for like 10 bucks on one disc. You really cannot beat that. It brings uh, a lot of the movies that come that come in here are J uh, Django ripoffs. They're not really sequels to Django. They're just you know, movies that were made to cash in on the success of Django. And by Django, I don't mean the new Django that came out, even though this was released uh, shortly after Django Unchained was released. That's why it's called Westerns Unchained, to kind of cash in on the success. But these movies were made uh, in the 60s during the craze of the jo Django movies, because there's a movie by Franco Nero called Django. So, some of the movies I've seen here, I'll tell you right now, uh, May God Forgive You, which was pretty good. It's kind of corny, kind of cheesy, but it, it's pretty good. Uh, I also saw um, shoo, see, Django Shoots First, which I really liked. Um, I wanted to get this one individually, but it's really hard to find. And I've seen it go for like $70, $80 on eBay, and I'm not going to pay that for, for a movie that... It's good, but it's not amazing. So, again, like I said, some of, there's two or three movies here that are not... Uh, in English that are actually in Italian without any subtitles. Now, I understand a little bit of Italian because I know Spanish, but that might turn off a lot of people from buying this, but regardless, you get at least 23 movies dubbed in English with um, pretty decent quality because they're all in widescreen, anamorphic widescreen. It's just that, of course, it's compressed into one disc. But definitely do check this out. It's $10, 25 movies. And they also released one for martial arts movies. This is the Wu-Tang Iron Fist Collection. And this brings also 25 crazy, low-budget kung fu movies. And it's from the same company. You can get this for 10 bucks on Amazon. I think it's still in print. Let's continue. I'm going to move a little bit quicker now. Here we have a double feature, Grand Duel with Lee Van Cleef and Kiyoma. This is also the same movie that I have in that box set. Like I said, you can find Kiyoma if you buy, you know, this uh, double feature. Fistful of Dollars. If you've never seen a Western or expected a Western, start from here. Start watching fi the um, Fistful of Dollars. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. This is actually a remake of a Japanese movie called Yojimbo. And it's a great movie. Definitely uh, one of the better Spaghetti Westerns. And it was followed by a few dollars more. Also a classic. And of course, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, my favorite western. Definitely the best spaghetti western ever made. And I think it's also Quentin Tarantino's favorite spaghetti western. Or at least one of them, because I know he has an, a couple of other ones. But this movie, it, it's long, it's about three hours long. This is the extended version that was um, remastered, where they got um, Eli Wallach and Clint Eastwood to redub the lines from their from the footage that they rediscovered. So if you have never seen the Good, the Bad, the, Bad, and the Ugly, Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, you do owe yourself to watch this movie. It's definitely worth it. Hang 'em High, also great uh, underrated um, Clint Eastwood movie. Not many people talk about this one. It's an American western, but it has certain spaghetti western influences because this was made after he did the Dodge trilogy if I'm not mistaken or during the time he was making them and it has that kind of spaghetti western vibe to it so very good movie here we have Once Upon a Time in the West this was the last I believe one of the last uh, Sergio Leone western movies that he did when he was um, you know filming all those westerns and this was with Charles Bronson it has um, uh, Henry Fonda, Charles, uh, Charles Fonda, I already said that, and it's, it's a good movie, it's a good movie, but it's not one of my favorites, it's very, very long, it's even longer than, uh, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, but a lot of people consider it superior to The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, 
I have to disagree. It's a good movie, but it's not better than The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. The Comancheros from John Wayne. This is a Blu-ray book. So you can see it comes really nicely. You open it up, it has pictures of the film. The side comes with the disc. You can still find this for a very decent price. I love these um, digi books. I have a few of them. And speaking of digi books, I have another one here for The Outlaw Josie Wales with Clint Eastwood. This is directed by Clint Eastwood and probably his best directorial film. I love The Outlaw Josie Wales. It's probably, I would say, the second best American Western. Uh, the first one, as I said, is uh, High Noon, but this is really, really good. And here's another one, which I recently acquired, and it's called The Big Gun Down. It's a four-disc collector's edition, brings two Blu-rays, a DVD, and a soundtrack. And I've heard this is also a movie that Quentin Tarantino likes. I got it because of Lee Van Cleef and because I'm a fan of spaghetti westerns. And it has Tomas Milan, who did one of the sequels to Django. Here is The Hills Run Red. Recently got this, have yet to see it. Dollar for the Dead with Emilio Estevez. This is from the Archive Collection from Warner Brothers. And if you're not familiar with these DVDs, they, um, you pretty much have to ask Warner Brothers to make these or get them from Amazon for a little bit higher price. And what happens is that they're not, they're original movies, but they're burned copies. They're burned copies by Warner Brothers. They're officially burned copies. So that may turn off people a little bit because you're paying 20 some odd bucks for a movie that's burnt. But it's the only way you can own these type of movies, either lesser known movies or movies that were very popular but never got a demand to be released on DVD. So Dollar for a Dead is a American Spaghetti Western. It was released around the late 80s, early 90s with Emilio Estevez. Pretty good. Uh, here we have five bloodiest westerns. These are, you know, the cheap ones that you can find at Walmart. I got this at Kmart for five bucks. I only got this because it brings, if you meet Sartana, pray for your death. Because it's uh, the only way you can get it sometimes for cheap is if you buy these budget, you know, DVDs. <clears throat> Blazing Saddles. This is a comedy, but it's, again, th this comedy does work because it knows what it's doing. It's a full-out comedy. I don't like comedies where they're trying to be serious and they're also trying to be comedic at the same time. I don't like that when it comes to westerns. If you're doing a western, be uh, straightforward on what you're going to do. If you're going to be funny, be funny. If you're going to be serious, be serious. Um, <clears throat> here we have A Long Ride From Hell. This is released through, I believe, Code Red. If I'm not mistaken, this is out of print, and it's probably the only movie with uh, the actor Steve Reeves, who played Hercules, the only Western he made, and it's really hard to find now. So this movie is, you know, pretty cheesy. He does a pretty good job in a Western, so definitely check it out if you can. Like I said, I think this is out of print. Here we have The Great Silence, really good movie with Klaus Kinski. And let me move this out of the way. This is Silverado. It's an American Western. It's a nice little gift set. Brings some playing cards inside. Here's a double feature Western that brings The Quick and The Dead. And Bite the Bullet. Bite the Bullet. I've never seen Bite the Bullet, but I have seen The Quick and The Dead. The Quick and The Dead, it's not a great movie. It's 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 kind of corny. It's a little bit overproduced, overstylized. But uh, it has a young Leo DiCaprio and it has Russell Crowe. The star of the film, of course, is Sharon Stone, and the antagonist being um, Gene Hackman. You can tell Gene Hackman had fun making this movie. It comes in two slip DVD cases. Got this a uh, couple of years back at FYE. Uh, here we have 310 to Yuma. And I like this one, you know, it's with Russell Crowe again and uh, Christian Bale. I haven't seen the original, and I know, uh, me being an, a Western fan, I definitely have to check it out. But this one's actually really good. Unforgiven, great, great Western. And to me, this is a deconstruction of the Western. You know, it's nice to see a movie where you're seeing, again, the psychological side of the Western world where you're 
seeing the mind of, of a bounty hunter, an ex-bounty hunter, an aged bounty hunter, you know, going back into the game. A very good movie. And the thing is, when I first saw this movie growing up, I didn't understand it. I, I really did not uh, understand what was going on. I thought it was boring. Keep in mind, I saw this for the first time when I was like eight or nine years old. And I rewatched it again when I was 15. Also didn't understand it. And now at 26... I understand precisely what this movie is trying to say. You know, it's a very realistic Western. And definitely the third best Western of all time. Dances with Wolves. Another long Western movie, but really, really good. It's one of the few Kevin Costner movies that I enjoy. I'm not the biggest Kevin Costner fan, but Dances with Wolves is a great movie. And the reason why I'm not a big fan of Kevin Costner is because I had to endure watching The Postman. And my god, that movie is not an easy watch. And I own it, but I, I rarely have ever watched it. But Dance of the Wolves is a great movie. Come this little edition. This is the extended version, so it's even longer. And here I have White Earp, also with Kevin Costner. I haven't seen this one yet, but because I enjoyed uh, Dance of the Wolves, I want to see what his other takes on westerns are. So if anybody knows about White Earp, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, hold on one quick second. It's not going in. <clears throat> hold on. Oh, it's this little thing here that's being a bugger. There we go. Here we have Tombstone. Really, really good 90s Western with Val Kilmer and Kurt Russell. Now, this is available on Blu-ray, but I haven't repurchased. Like, I don't like double dipping on movies. And as you can see, this is a really nice edition. You know, it comes out like that. You know, it has its own. I'll show you. Open it up like this. So I like the attention to detail that DVDs used to have. You know, you used to have these really nice cases with booklets. And I saw the Blu-ray, and it looks nothing like this. It's just, just a bare bones uh, Blu-ray. So I prefer having it in its original DVD version, which is from the Vista series. Here's a cheap box set uh, from the Spaghetti Western Public Domain World, because all of these are public domain. You can watch these for free on YouTube. You can find them for really cheap um, in Walmarts, in different box sets, of course, because this box set, I don't think it's available anymore, but some of these movies you can still find. And it brings movies like Boot Hill, Any Gun Can Play, Find a Place to Die, It Can Be Done Amigo, This Man Can not Die. This man kind of I actually really like. It has a certain. Um, it looks like a movie that could have been done with Clint Eastwood if they um, had a bigger budget. So definitely not bad. You know, it's a pretty good box set. Got this a couple of years ago. Here we have How the West Was Won. Comes in a really nice box set. Has like an all-star cast. So now we have here a couple of other movies that I own. I have here. Uh, this is a Blu-ray box of the, the Omen, and I originally had this in its original box, but the box that came in was so fragile that I had to buy another DVD case to put the movies in, so that for that reason, I don't like this case, this, uh, this box set. Here's another uh, cheap um, Western DVDs. It's called Fistful of Westerns. This box set brings a really funny Western with William Shatner called Why Comanche, where he plays both <laughs> an Indian and an American, and they were separated at birth or something like that. It's really, really corny. So, the thing about these cheap box sets is that sometimes you'll find a title that you don't own, but you previously had it in another edition. It's That's the bad thing about these, but they're cheap. And again, the quality is not that great, but here I have two box sets that I got a couple of years back at a convention. One's from the Zorro collection, and the other one's the Batman uh, 66 TV series. Battle Royale, this is called, this is from the Roger Corman collection. It's called The Evil and Twice Dead. Got this for like 49 cents. Yeah, 49 cents. Yep. The Power of Evil, this I got at. At a movie stop for really cheap. Yeah, for $2.99. Haven't seen this yet. Brings a lot of cheap horror movies. Uh, if anybody knows about any of these titles, Unhinged, 
Harvesters, Die Hard Dracula, Girls Night Out. If you know about any of these, please let me know. Here we have other box sets that are now hard to find, and they're not good movies anyway, but Catacomb of Creep Shows, The Crypt, Crypt of Nightmares, and Tomb of Terrors. These are like really low and Z grade horror movies. Some of them are not even watchable. Um, here we have the zombie pack. This brings like uh, the sequels to the zombie movies, you know, the Lucio Fushi zombie. And this one brings, I think, uh, I think it brings Burial Ground, Flesh Eaters, and some other zombie movies. So let me. Uh, let me kneel down, because this is going to be a little bit of a hard video to finish. So, let's see. Here we have a Blu-ray that I got, I think, at Big Lots. Don't leave. Come back. There you go. Uh, War of the Arrows. Got this for 288 And I got here Assassin's Blade. So, let's continue. Here I have Duel in the Sun with Gregory Peck. The Bravados with Gregory Peck. Ace High with Eli Wallach. Uh, Joe Kidd with Clint Eastwood. This is an underrated Clint Eastwood Western. Two Mules for Sister Sarah. Love this movie. Now I know that a lot of these movies are, uh, are available on Blu-ray, but I don't like repurchasing the same movie over and over again. Not to say that I've never done it in the past, but I don't like to do it now anymore. Uh, High Plains Drifter. Love this movie also. It was directed by... I think it was directed by Clint Eastwood himself. Let me make sure. Yep, directed by Clint Eastwood. Really good movie. Uh, oh, come on out. The Beguild. I have yet to see this one, but I heard it's a different take on the Western genre. Winchester 73. This is the James Stewart movie I was telling you earlier that I was going to recommend to you guys. Very good James Stewart Western movie. The Good, the Bad, the Ugly. This is the theatrical version that was not remastered. This brings the, um, the original running time, which is a little under three hours. Take a Hard Ride with Lee Van Cleef. This is from Anchor Bay. This is a little harder to find now. Stranger in Japan. The Long Riders. The Professionals. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Ned Kell. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Ned Kelly. I have yet to see this one. Um, I got this mainly because of Heath Ledger. I didn't even know he was in the Western. But I do want to watch this one soon. Appaloosa. Sarah Him Falls. Pretty good movie. Saw this one a couple of years back. When, I, when Blockbuster was still open, I rented it. Pretty good um, Western with Liam Neeson and Pierce Brosnan. Bad Man's River. Uh, not a good western at all. Again, it's a spaghetti western comedy with uh, Lee Van Cleef. Not very good. El Dorado. Great John Wayne movie. The Cowboys. Still haven't seen this one yet, but I will. Rio Bravo. Uh, probably my favorite of the John Wayne movies. Very, very good. Uh, Banditas with Salma Hayek and Penelope Cruz. Open Range. Wild Wild West. Uh, I know people are saying, why do you have this movie? This movie's terrible. I saw this movie when I was 10 years old, and it has a special place in my heart. I, I like it. I grew up watching it, and I have nothing against it. You know, I know it's not loyal to the TV series, which I've never seen, but a lot of people you know, seem to hate this movie. I like it. The Wild Bunch. Very, very good uh, Western. Very violent for its time. It actually, actually is the original director's cut, so it has all the violence that was in the movie. Definitely worth watching. And owning. Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. 
a lot of people um, think this movie is boring, that it serves no purpose at all, but I loved it. It's, a, again, a psychological western, you know. You're seeing the motives behind uh, Robert Ford's obsession over Jesse James. Very good movie. Rio Lobo with John Wayne. The Searchers with John Wayne. True Grit with John Wayne, which I actually prefer over the remake. It's not to say the remake is bad. The remake is very, very good also. But I like the original one a little bit better. A little bit more. Here we have True Grit the remake with Matt Damon, Jeff Bridges. Very, very good. Here I have The Alamo. Recently got this one. Have yet to see it. Uh, let me move this out of the way. And here I have the remake of The Alamo. Also haven't seen. Recently acquired this. And here we have some of these uh, westerns that are released through Wild East. Wild East Home Video, they released a lot of movies that... Um, some of them have gone out of print. I don't own any of the ones that are out of print. But try to get as many as you can because there isn't exactly a big demand on these. So they go out of print really fast. The Brood and the Beast, this was directed by Lucio Fulci, who's known for directing zombie, a lot of horror movies. This is one of his few westerns that he's uh, directed. Very, very good movie. I've seen it before. Um, this comes in a limited collector's edition, and from what I hear, the picture quality is an animal. Widescreen isn't actually a good, good uh, addition to own. Here we have Death Rides a Horse. Great movie. Again, this is public domain, so this version is not the public domain version. It's the version that people should own. It comes in a widescreen transfer. It's, uh, again, uh, the soundtrack from this movie was used in Kill Bill. Uh... Definitely worth watching and owning. Here we have Manaha, Manaja, a man called Blade. Recently acquired this from Blue Underground. Blue Underground also releases a lot of good movies, a lot of good westerns. Uh, here we have a double feature that brings a coffin for the sheriff and blood at sundown. Here we have. Hanging for Django. A double triple feature that brings Reverend Colt and Vengeance, Vengeance is a Colt 45. Django double feature, a man called Django. And Django, what does it say? Django and Sartana Showdown in the West. Again, these are not sequels to Django, they are just use the name for its popularity. Django kills silently, and Django cuts price corpses. Django kill with Tomas Milan. And here's a double feature, the only way you can own the sequel, the true sequel to Django. And it brings Django the original with Franco Nero, and Django strikes again. This is released through Anchor Bay, this is out of print. It's a little harder to find now. Maverick, not a very good western, but got it for really cheap for $4.99 at FYE. So, here I have uh, American Outlaws. Again, also, a lot of people don't like this one. I don't mind it, and I found it for like 49 cents, so it's in pretty good condition, actually. So, uh, let me put this back here. So, let's continue. Here I have another Spaghetti Western, A Minute to Pray, A Second to Die. Here we have the Kung Fu movies. I have this from the Dragon Dynasty collection. Brings martial arts of Shaolin, executioners from Shaolin, Mad Monkey Kung Fu, and five Shaolin masters. Here's a ten, fu ten Kung Fu theater collection. Brings Ninja Thunderbolt, Invincible Hero, Attack of the Venoms, Men on the Hour, Can of the Brave, Land of the Brave, <laughs> Man Fist, and Tiger Claws of Shaolin, Chinese, Her Chinese Hercules, which is with um, Bolo Young, uh, Everlasting Duel, Chinese Dragon, and Great General. I got this for really cheap uh, at a FYE that was closing down. I'm a sucker for these really low budget uh, kung fu movies. They're definitely uh, entertaining. 
New Fist of Fury with Jackie Chan. Rumble in Hong Kong with Jackie Chan. This is... <laughs> Jackie Chan plays the villain, and he has like a, a black mole. He's not the star of the movie. The star of the movie is uh, someone else. I think the movie's really called Lady Cop or Lady Dragon. It has a weird name. I don't remember right now, but not a great movie. But I'm a Jackie Chan completist, so... This is called Deadly Fist. Still haven't seen this, but it brings five martial arts movies on two DVDs. Sam, uh, Sony Shiba Samurai Collection. Deadly Kicks Collection. I think this movie brings... Let me check. Uh, I think it's Weapons of Death. I'm not sure. But there's one movie here that was... A, a, two movies spliced together and you can tell it was done in two different eras martial arts essentials got this at FYE for four dollars four ninety seven drunken masters these are all collections that bring like four or five movies that are martial arts martial arts essentials these movies this brings the movies from Gordon Liu I think yeah Gordon Liu uh, one second here we have a sci-fi collection. There's four different cheesy 80s, uh, not 80s, these are like 50s, and, you know, sci-fi movies. These are uh, another sci four sci-fi movie collection. Brings Breeders, Supernova, Species 4, and Retroactive. Another collection. Brings Strange Invaders, Invaders from Mars, uh, Invisible Invaders, and the other one's called... Journey to the Seventh Planet. Uh, here we have a couple of other ones that I got for cheap. Captain Apache, which is with Lee Van Cleef. He looks really weird without a mustache. Snake Crane, Arts of Shaolin. Not a good movie. These are like the really early Jackie Chan movies. The picture quality is terrible. The acting is really bad, but... Fire Dragon. Again, another early Jackie Chan movie, Young Tiger. I love how they used the same picture, like this is the same picture that was uh, here, same one. It's from Mr. Nice Guy. They didn't even try. Same one. Um, image of Bruce Lee, it's from the Bruce Bloitation era, where they started doing a lot of Bruce Lee imitators. Here's another one, Bruce Lee the Invincible. Spiritual Kung Fu, another early Jackie Chan movie. Uh, Jackie Chan's Eagle Shadow Fist. Again, really early ones. Uh, here's another one. Brings God's Gun in a town called Hell. It's a double feature. Here's a Sony Shiba collection, which brings Street Fighter, Return of the Street Fighter, Street Fighter's Last Revenge, Sister Street Fighter, The Bodyguard. Legend of the Eight Samurai, Samurai Reincarnation, Sh Shogun's Ninja, Dragon Princess, and Karate Warriors. So, this one I got also an FYE that was closing down. Martial Arts Collection brings 18, you know, low budget kung fu movies. Jackie Chan, Who Am I? One of my favorites. Winners and Sinners. Here we have Wheels on Meals, a Western box set, brings Rawhide, the Gunfighter, and Garden of Evil. Here's another Spaghetti Western box set that's out of print now. And this is not a budget box set, it may look like one like from Mill Creek and Echo Bridge, but it isn't. It's released through a company called Timeless Media Group. And has a lot of movies here that you can't find um, individually. And if you can find individually, they're out of print now also. And they're really expensive. But this is definitely worth getting. You know, you get movies like Forgotten Pistolero. Uh, other ones that are known probably are uh, Ringo, Face of Revenge, Pistol for Ringo. You know, definitely worth getting if you can find for a good price. Another box set that I own, which is a cheaper box set, is the Spaghetti Western 44 Movie Collection. I mentioned this one a couple of years back in um, in a video that I did where I show you uh, box sets that you can get from Mill Creek that are pretty cheap. And this one is from Mill Creek, if I'm not mistaken. Mill Creek or Echo Bridge. Uh, Mill Creek. And it brings 
44 movies. Of course, the transfers are not that great. They're all taken from third or fourth generation VHS tapes. Uh, but still, you get a chance to own movies like, um, let's see, you own uh, Death Rides a Horse, White Comanche, which I mentioned earlier, it's a hilarious movie with Will and Shatner, and you have Apache Blood, uh, Boot Hill, and if you own some other box sets, you might have some duplicates here that you previously owned, but it's definitely worth 10 bucks, 44 movies, you can't beat that. Another one I have here is Wanted Dead or Alive, all 94 episodes, got this for 10 bucks. Haven't seen it yet, but definitely a great buy. Tom Selleck's Sam Elliott Collection brings four movies, haven't seen this yet, got it at Kmart for 5 bucks. Another four movie collection, got it at Best Buy for 5 bucks. And this is a 20 film, western film collection, brings uh, Old West Outlaws. All these are like mostly spaghetti westerns. Again, this one brings This Man Can Die. I got this one mainly because of One Eye Jacks with Marlon Brando. And <clears throat> also from Mill Creek. Picture quality may not be great, but they're cheap. I got the one again, I got this one for five bucks. Twenty movies, five bucks. That's you can't beat that, even if they're all public domain. Uh, Western collection brings Sartana, Dig Your Grave. Sertana is coming, Holy Water Joe, and Buffalo Bill, Kmart, four bucks. So basically I paid a dollar for each movie. A dollar and some change. Or in other words, for a few dollars more. <laughs> well, actually, for a fistful of dollars. Anyway, enough carny jokes, and here's another one. 20 Western movies. It brings also uh, some spaghetti westerns. Got this one for five bucks. Again, 20 Western movies, five bucks. This is from Echo Bridge. A lot of people hate Echo Bridge, but, you know, for the price that you pay, you get a lot of movies. Even if they're not great, you're not spending much money anyway. Proposition. This is with Guy Pierce. I have yet to see it. Ambush at Simmer and Pass. Um, this one, I got this one mainly because of Clint Eastwood. Not a very good movie. You can tell it was done on a soundstage. So, yeah, that's my uh, Spaghetti Western slash American Western and Kung Fu Collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around. Today I wanted to do a video. Hopefully I'll post it up today. Uh, doing a new thing where I'm going to review random movies in my collection. Hopefully do it, um, if not every Friday, every other Friday. And I'm thinking of calling it the Random Review Fridays. Where I review one or two movies from my movie collection. So do stick around. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, please leave your comments down below. I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time.